Hi everyone, this is Michael here from Asia Virtual Solutions. Configuring a GSA capture breaker is pretty straightforward, but uh, one single step uh, that uh, is done wrong could have an uh, effect on your captures being solved or not being solved. So what I want to do is uh, quickly walk you through the steps of uh, uh, installing GSA Capture Breaker and just setting the correct settings uh, for it. Now the first thing you do is you install Capture Breaker. I've done this now here. You fill in your license detail and um, then click on the Options tab which is where you will get to. Now as good as GSA Capture Breaker is, it cannot solve all types of captures especially recaptures. You might be wondering what the heck is recaptures. So let me show you what those look like. Uh, I can see one from here. See these kind of these kind of captures you see here. Uh, um, GSA capture breaker cannot solve these kind of captures. So in order to solve them we need on, we need to add on a service which is the option you have over here, okay? And I highly recommend that you do add this on because nowadays so many of the websites they use these kind of cap recapture uh, captures which is almost impossible for uh, GSA Capture Breaker to solve. So let's get back to the install part. So once you get now, you set up uh, your uh, GSA Capture Breaker. Let me, let me just go out. It's a bit small, makes me a headache. Um, okay, so now you've installed uh, everything. And um, the first thing you do is, if you're just going to be running GSA Capture Breaker with GSA Search Engine Ranker, then uncheck all this, everything at the top. Everything uh, above the line here, uncheck them. So starting with this uh, once here, uncheck that, uncheck the runner's web server. A lot of people uh, go and check this, but I have no idea why they're checking it, but they're just checking, checking the button for the sake of checking it. So you do not need this, okay? Just uncheck all of this at the top here. Uh, you can click minimize to, to, to try if you want. Now. Adding a new service is uh, pretty straightforward. You have to go and sign up. Uh, if you click on Add here, you can see all the different options. And uh, there are two spam villa used to be good, but uh, their support has uh, totally gone to crap. And uh, I used them for almost a year, but uh, the service and support from them is, 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 is total crap. Uh, so I don't use them anymore. Uh, I used Eve, uh, but this is uh, no longer uh, working. Uh, she was good. Uh, at the moment, my recommendation is using Captchatronics. Okay? Um, Captchatronic uh, has got a very good successful rate and uh, you also got a panel where you can see exactly how much you're using uh, and um, it's uh, very user friendly so capture tronic so add that and um, once you've added the following settings uh, uh, you need to do uh, try the default is 20 try to solve success rate so what this means is um, you see how we use a success rate uh, in uh, GSA Capture Breaker. This is how, how what percentage it, it's able to solve this. I suggest don't go for a 20, go for 10. We want to try, try to get it to solve as much as possible and uh, if we just don't solve them they get skipped. So I'll rather give it a try and uh, see if we can solve this. Leave uh, this uh, slider here to maximum, okay? Leave it to max, uh, sorry, to accuracy, maximum on accuracy side. Uh, the following button, check that. Make sure this is checked uh, because this has got to do with the image type. 
for capture detection and I found that uh, I get a much higher success rate when this is checked okay and there's also a, a test here that you can run but spare yourself the trouble and just check that now uh, it's asking here the next line is uh, what to do with unknown captures uh, and by default it's checked for use capture service uh, I don't suggest you use that uh, because our capture service we have installed CaptureTronic only solves recapture so we don't want to send everything unknown to CaptureTronic so it's uh, first of all not going to be able to solve them uh, everything because it's not recapture and uh, secondly we're going to fill up our quota very quickly so uncheck this button here sorry uncheck use capture service and uh, we tell GSA capture breaker to try and solve it all captures unknown ones or unknown ones try and solve it itself a capture breaker everything uh, else below here you can just leave as it is okay there's one more here uh, this basically will just give you uh, this is just for info so <coughs> excuse me you can just leave it at two dollar it basically just shows you how much money you saved so if you reckon uh, it cost two dollar for a thousand capture add two dollar in there and it's just gonna uh, tell you yeah oh you saved so much money because you use capture breaker so just leave leave the uh, as is there now this is all okay and most people get it right until here but <coughs> excuse me the most important setting now is what most people skip or don't do we have added our capture service here this capture service um, if we leave everything as is now uh, GSA capture breaker will send everything that it it, it solves and it's wrong it will send them to CaptureTronic and we don't really want that because CaptureTronic for starters uh, don't solve everything so um, to, to get over that we only want to send certain things to CaptureTronic so click OK and then what you do is go uh, to <coughs> excuse me to the other section expand that scroll down until you see recapture and then put your cursor on there and then right click and click toggle use of capture service so as it says here now once the selected capture type is detected it will always be sent to capture service instead of trying to solve it so uh, GSA Capture Breaker is not going to try and solve this it will immediately uh, when it finds a recapture it will immediately send it uh, to our capture service which is uh, CaptureTronic okay so it will show you uh, when it's uh, toggled it will have that little uh, up and down arrows in there this is the only one that you need to uh, check that for and uh, once you've done that okay so now the final step is now uh, just in a uh, GSA search engine ranker go to the options tab okay and then go to your capture section and in the capture section I've now already added mine but you will just normally go and add the top one which is capture breaker I do not recommend to add your capture tronic or second service in here Okay, I suggest to only use here GSA Capture Breaker and add a second service to GSA Capture Breaker. The reason is GSA Search Engine Ranker will send the captures first to Capture Breaker. Uh, it cannot solve it. Uh, it then sends it back to GSA uh, Search Engine Ranker and GSA Search Engine Ranker then again send it to the second capture service in here that is a waste of time so uh, we just send it right to GSA capture breaker and capture tronics is there already 
and we'll see that that it's a toggled recapture and immediately solve that. Uh, I know there's many people that feel different, but this is uh, what I suggest you do. Uh, also, sorry. Uh, so you add this. Let me just go through the step. Set the uh, oops. Set the uh, retry to. Th come on. Set the retry to three, and uh, leave uh, the PR and other stuff uh, blank. Okay, so uh, set up, add, you say, uh, capture breaker from there, set the retry to three, and then test it to make sure the communication, uh, uh, that the two is talking to each other. Okay, that then, your GSA capture breaker is now fully installed. Now there's one last thing which I very highly recommend and that is using a capture service. Okay, capture service. If I, if you can read the highlight there, uh, are questions like these ones uh, on the by GSA capture bracket. They are like images, but text captures is like thing like what color is the sky, uh, how many legs does a da dog have. Uh, it's questions, and many many people ignore this. They say, oh, well, I have already Capture Breaker, why do I need this? Because again, GSA Capture Breaker is not good at solving text captures. And uh, I found that uh, I increase my success rate by almost 30 to 40 percent by enabling a capture uh, service, a text capture service as well. Okay, there are many. And uh, the one that I use and recommend uh, is Text Capture Solver. I used to use Bandit M, but uh, they've gone south as well, and uh, I had a lot of problems uh, with their service and uh, their admins, so I do not recommend Bandit M. Text Capture Solver, uh, that's going to be your best bet. You've got a clean uh, control panel showing you exactly how many you are using and uh, how much you got left. And it's also a lot, very, very affordable. Okay, so finally just click the OK button and you're all set up now. So that concludes on how to set up and configure a GSA Capture Breaker. If you have questions, uh, drop a note in a comment here or, and uh, I will get back to you uh, as soon as possible uh, on your comment. Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, have fun uh, with your uh, GSA Capture Breaker. Ciao for now.